of that virus. Health officials say everyone, but especially people who are elderly or have underlying health problems, need to protect themselves against mosquito bites. A poisonous algae is killing fish by the thousands in Lake Bataan at Carlsbad. News 13's Ian Schwartz was there today. Bataan Lake is a nice getaway for many people in Carlsbad. We like to come down and feed the duck. But it isn't the ducks they're coming here to see. It's the more than 6,000 dead fish lining the banks. It can make you want to vomit and stuff, so it's a pretty bad smell. Park goers and city crews try to stomach the smell of the rotting fish taking over the area. Game and Fish started noticing the problem this week. Kind of took us by surprise. And Sean Denny with New Mexico Game and Fish blames a golden algae surge. The microscopic organism releases a toxin that starved these fish of oxygen. Denny says the algae bloom is common in the winter after rain, but not so common in these warm temperatures. I think it's a change in water chemistry and water quality that makes the other algaes die back and allows golden algae to take off and, and do better. Identifying what's killing the fish in this lake is one thing, but getting rid of it is another. Sean Denny with Game and Fish says one West Texas community spent years and millions of dollars trying to eradicate algae, but with no results. Then he says he is looking at chemicals to combat the algae, but more fish will die, and Lake Bataan may have to wait it out. There's not a magic bullet where we can say if we control this element in all these water bodies, we'll control golden algae. In Carlsbad, Ian Schwartz, KRQE News 13. On the plus side of all this, even though golden algae is deadly to fish, it is not harmful to humans or other mammals.